Uh, my name's Cheryl, I'm a Rough Sleepers uh, mental health support worker. Most of the people that I support are rough sleepers. I've got various different types of rough sleepers. Some of them are in hostels, but mainly it's the street sleepers that we work with. After I found my partner cheating, um, I left the house. I ended up sleeping rough for over a year. My drinking got really out of hand, and times I just didn't want to, want to live. Ended up homeless in 2017. I went to jail. While I was in jail, my mum got dementia, ended up in a care home. So when I come out of jail, it was just that. Some people, you literally get the, the sleeping rough, they're getting up in the morning, and they're literally walking round, tapping enough for a cup of tea to warm the sense up. Cause They've been in doorway all night. But that's probably the hardest thing, people not listening. Back in 2015, I was lost for two and a half years. When I went to prison in 2022, I lost my place. I was come out of prison, I'm in a cast free property. And I run out on week and Monday, and I'm back home again. Plenty of places in Doncaster. For the week, get played through food like this. Sometimes I don't come here to eat. I just come here to see people I know and things like that. I mean, associate. On the 8th of February, just gone by there, uh, I'm a year clean. I'm trained to be um, a support worker in the outreach so that, that when I do get my qualification, that's the area that I, I, I want to go into. I'm starting to rebuild my life. Uh, we decided to partner with you for the sleep out because I don't think there's enough awareness about our rough sleepers and the public need to know they're not all scary, nasty people. They need to know that, that they're just people and that's it.